Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about eight ways to optimize your testosterone building if you're just a natural, not if you're enhanced, but if you are enhanced, I'd say to, you know, get on top of this if you haven't already, because if you're not, then you're skipping out on gains that you can possibly have. All right, let's start with number one. Steroids and SARMs are going to be the worst thing for anybody who wants to stay natural or anybody who wants to be able to produce testosterone and hormones um, as they age. Because when you take steroids and SARMs on top of the side effects that you may have with them, uh, you're going to have to go onto a PCT. And after that, you're going to you're going to go back to producing your natural testosterone, but it's not going to be at the same speed or level as you used to. Um, and this can have a number of like bad repercussions. That's why some bodybuilders are on HRT, hormone replacement therapy, because they don't produce testosterone themselves. And this per can possibly prevent them from having children because you you can't produce testosterone naturally by yourself without you know a stimulus from an injection, then you can't you can't create a child. So that's just number one. Um, number two, it's got to be diet. Um, your diet has to be con consistent with healthy fats. Um, example, avocado, salmon, you need your omega-3 fatty acids, um, and you need, you know, a certain amount of protein, carbs to fuel you, um, and that's just, you know, overall common sense, but that's going to help you increase your testosterone if you can get all of that into your diet. Um, and number three ties into number two, it's about not, um, being in too much of a caloric deficit. So if you're, you know, maintenance calories, the calories you eat to stay at the same weight is 2,500, and you decide to, you say, I'm gonna eat 1,800 now, um, you're depriving yourself of 700 calories, which in three days is over half a pound of weight. So if you're already lean, that's a lot of weight to lose in a short period of time. And that's going to decrease your testosterone levels. Um, over time, maybe not, unless you're, you know, heavier, it's not going to affect you maybe the first week, two weeks, three weeks, but you're going to see sex drive will become lower. You're going to be more tired all the time. Um, and that's something to take into account when cutting why most people recommend a small deficit and over a longer period of time something that you can sustain and I would recommend that as well um, depending on your goals and the time frame you have and what you can handle all right number four I have to say is being active if you're active if you're doing cardio training you know working out very hard that's going to have a positive effect on, you know, testosterone. It's going to increase your testosterone, um, put it at its optimal level. If you're already doing that, then you're fine. But being active is very important. But, um, yeah. So, next, um, you do not want to train too much, though. If you train too hard and, you know, you're running all the time, and you're doing squats, you're doing hundreds of squats because uh, it's what your trainer told you to do. Um, you could be overtraining and it can decrease, you know, you won't be able to recover and it's gonna decrease testosterone. You won't be able to produce it because you're still recovering from that. Um, so that's something to take into account when you're trying to, you know, train very hard. Um, another thing that you can do, um, ashwagandha, that's very good, and it's been proven to increase testosterone levels in some individuals. Um, this is just a supplement, um, that's been in many, like, uh, products. One, it's in Gorilla Dream, um, 
I'm sure it's in many other vitamin forms. Um, but yeah, and then last one that I'm going to talk about has to be stress. If you're super stressed on top of, you know, the mental struggle you're going to have, you're going to have to deal with um, putting, it's going to put your body under stress and that can lower your testosterone. Um, it's also been proven in bodybuilding. If you're stressed out, it's going to have effect on how much water you're retaining, you know, how your physique is going to look uh, on show day and, you know, throughout peak week. Um, it doesn't have a true effect uh, for probably most of you, but I think that's important to, you know, understand that stress has a huge effect on not only your mind, but your body. But that's what I wanted to talk about today. Uh, hope you enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe, comment what you want to see next, and peace.